Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Batman issue number 30. All right, listen, this was a really sad comic. This is The War of Jokes and Riddles, but it's an interlude. It's The Ballad of Kite Man, part two. Now, you remember the first one where we found out a little bit of his backstory? His son, Charlie, was killed by the Riddler, uh, poisoned the uh, kite string, <laughs> something to that effect. Well, this one, we get a little bit something different. We don't actually get to see any more of Charlie, but we do get to hear his voice. We do get to hear... Uh, in the memories of Kite Man while he's sitting down and waiting. <laughs> I guess maybe like his whole life, he just keeps on repeating this over and over and it, like a mantra in his head. But he's hearing the voice of his son, uh, not like a madman, but just memories, conversations with his son, you know, is saying like, you know, daddy, uh, I heard mommy talking on the phone. She said you were a joke. Sometimes she says it in front of me. Sometimes I hear her. She's trying to say it behind my back. She, she's always saying that you're a joke. Are you a joke? And, like, he's such a freaking nice guy that he doesn't want to say that his mom is a liar. So instead, he turns around and he's like, yeah, I guess sometimes I am a joke. Like, wow. And it gets really deep. Like, he just, he goes into it more and more. And this entire time, he's teaming up with different guys on the Joker's side and getting beat. <laughs> it's just, it's a shame. He keeps on waking up and you just start to think about all the concussions that a nice guy would have, you know? Anyway... I really do feel sorry for Kite Man at this point. Like, it's actually genuinely sad. This poor freaking guy. It's, it's, wow, it's ridiculous. So, at one point in the comic, he is sitting down and Batman is in a room with him and the Riddler comes walking in also. And he's like, ah, yeah, you know, uh, pretty much all you guys are beaten because, you know, Batman's on our side. Ha ha ha. Yeah, of course we were going to win with Batman on our side. Is like, and you know what? We're going to find out all the information because you guys are all pretty much beat. We pretty much captured all of you guys. And you, you're the one that we picked to squeal. You know why? Because even though I killed your son, we know that when it comes down to it, and Kite Man says, well, it's because I'm Kite Man. And he puts his head down in shame. You know, like he's just stupid Kite Man. And Riddler says, hell yeah. Yeah, that's actually how this story ends. I know, it seems like I'm giving you everything. Believe it or not, I'm not giving you everything. Uh, there was a lot more to this comic. And it was just really, genuinely heartbreaking. I'm reading this like, oh my god, have I ever felt this bad for a villain before? I'm like, you know, sometimes you'll feel bad for Magneto. Almost all the times you'll feel bad for Magneto. You feel bad sometimes for uh, Doctor Doom. You know, there's certain heroes that you feel bad for, right? Sometimes even Bizarro can be made to seem like, you know, oh, poor Bizarro. Nah, dude, I genuinely have feelings right now. How How horrible inside I feel for this poor guy. And he's just going to keep on getting it. He's just going to keep on getting it. Ah, this is terrible. I think that there are two things here. Two things. One, the idea that he hasn't been rehabilitated, <laughs> uh, excuse me, rehabilitated, I think that's a huge failure on Batman's part. And I think that this is actually a part of that failure that Batman is talking about in regards to uh, his, his proposal to Catwoman and how... You know, she, she's going to say yes or no. But on top of that, he, he's discussing the war of jokes and riddles, how this was his biggest failure. And I'm wondering if maybe this is a part of it. This is, this has got to be a huge part of it to me because like this guy could have been rehabilitated. He could have been fixed, so to speak. And nope, nope, Batman just left him. <laughs> Literally, just no, nah, I'd rather punch you in the face a couple times and knock you unconscious rather than actually try and help you. And the second part of that is this is what Tim Drake was talking about. This is a good portion of what the fourth Robin, excuse me, the third, technically the third, we, we can't count uh, the Dark Knight Returns. But this is just one of those times where, you know, you, you saw some of the things that Robin was talking about with, with Batman in both this comic and in the, uh, in this series and in the detective comics line. Like Tim Drake just talking and saying, listen, we could do more. We could do so much more. Instead of just beating up the bad guys, we can actually get medical teams out there. We can get educators. We can get trainers. We can, <laughs> maybe one of the things he was talking about was actually do rehabilitation for the criminals, real rehabilitation. Since freaking Arkham obviously isn't working, and what the hell is Blackgate going to do, right? So, yeah, I'm, wow. <laughs> wow. 
Guys, I'm just going to give this comic an A-. minus. This was such a good issue. Without there being so much meat, there really was a lot of, of garnish around. And when you got through it all, wow. <laughs> this, was, this was a good comic. And it's funny that last issue and this issue both get food references in that point. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.